Ooh, this looks like it's gonna slip. No, I think it's all right. I haven't got all the ingredients out yet. Um, so I'm gonna do that in a minute, but I thought I'd just show you my thermal pot. Again, if you haven't seen it, I've done a video. I'll put that in the card. I think it's on this side. And you can see my unboxing of my thermal pot. I've got the tofu, coconut cream, and the spices that are mixed up. Oh wait, these aren't my spices. This is pesto. Let me put that one back and get the actual spices. I've got a couple of spares of these that um, I can put the leftovers of the um, chickpeas and the tomato. These are my spices that I mixed up. There we go. Just a little container full. So I measured them up correctly so I can just tip it in. So the tofu, slightly larger than what I want but I'll probably just use all of it anyway I need half so I'm, I'm making this to half scale because otherwise we'll have wa uh, way too much left over so I'll need half of that tin and I will need half of that tin and the coconut milk that I have here is already half a tin that uh, I used half a tin of for something else let's get everything together so we want onion garlic ginger Salt, pepper, cashews, onion, garlic, ginger, salt, pepper, quarters of a teaspoon for half an onion roughly so let's tick off our onion garlic two garlic cloves I can never have enough garlic so I'm gonna go with one two three let's go with one teaspoon of garlic powder two centimeter piece of ginger finely chopped not a huge fan of ginger but when it's in a recipe it's not too bad <coughs> oh, that smells gross Ugh. Right. two centimeter piece let's estimate oh, I want a tiny bit more there we go Heat the oil, onion, garlic, ginger, and coriander stalk, stirring frequently. Not going to need to do it for eight minutes because it's just powder. Add the spices and toast for a few minutes. I have garam masala, curry powder, ground cardamom, sweet paprika, chili powder, ground coriander. Now, this is well and truly out of date, but it's been kept cold and unopened in the fridge, and it's tofu. It lasts forever. So, it smells fine. Smells absolutely fine. Hopefully, the tofu isn't too soft and won't completely fall apart. That yeah, still should be tasty, even if it does. It's not the end of the world. Cube drained. Oh, I didn't dry it at all. I never do, so I'm putting it in a bit. We have heat. Very much on an angle here, but that's okay. I'll survive. Alright, that's gonna burn any moment now, so I might just take that off there. Alright, now I might tip my herbs in. The spices are not herbs. But anyway. There we go. Stir that around before I put it back on the heat. Oh, that smells really good. So we stem for a little bit. Everything else, including the tofu, everything else but the cashews. Let's put the tofu in. Ooh, hot in there. Stir the Oh, it's breaking up. Ooh, be more gentle. 
half tin of chickpeas. I probably should have drained. Let's just turn that off. Why use that gas when I haven't even got the thing on? So I could put the coconut in, coconut cream, oil, whatever it is. Yum. Freaking love coconut cream. This is why I use this instead of a spoon. Because it's um, I can then use it to scrape my containers as well. There we go. Look at that. Almost all clean. That's why this spatula is good as well because you can clean things up really well. works. The problem with chickpeas, it takes a lot of rinsing to get all the um, fart juice out of it. I love this little shaker strainer lid thing. It's brilliant. If you want to look it up, it's called Sifter with no E. Sifter. Or if you're American, Sifter. If you're over a sink, you can very easily just um, pour the water right over the top of that. There we go. What can do? Back to me. Back to me. Look at my. Look at my. All right. Uh, half the chickpeas. That's well more than half. Let's put that in here. Creating a little bit of rubbish here and it's taking up some space. Unfortunately, there are no recycling bins here, so anything that uh, is recycling. I don't want to just put into, um, straight into the, uh, just the normal landfill bin because it won't ever get recycled. So I will carry it home with me, but that is what I was ready for. So it's just the way it works. The actual half this time. And the other half in here. thing is cashews it says out of anything else bling bring to the boil let bubble gently for a few minutes stir through the cashews okay I think that's it this looks good little lumps of if you can see this let's see look at that actually it looks a bit like vomit on camera but it's gonna be good when it's cooked I promise let's start this up again bring to the boil let simmer. Bubble gently for a few minutes. Right. It is actually a bit of a pain in the butt trying to adjust this, but I think I'll get used to it eventually. Just need a really fine touch, that's all. Now, ideally, my pot would be much more full than this. To, to make uh, proper use of the thermal properties and stuff. But I think it'll be alright. Alright, let's see how that goes. One quarter cup. Is that right? Let's get the fluff out of that. Another quarter cup. Oh, see some movement at the station. It's 
Gonna stop boiling soon. Where are we going? Not boiling yet. Get more movement happening now. This is gonna be tasty as. It would probably look a bit nicer in there if I had some of those actual green um, leaves, like the coriander leaves. Well, the stalks and the roots it asks for. That's right. I know it's still tasty. Doesn't have to look pretty. Um, can't do anything until that boils, really. Not boiling yet. Getting there. Oh, it's bubbling, yes. All right, now let bubble gently for a few minutes. This is gonna be the challenge. Turning that down enough so that it's simmering, but not burning. All right, bubbling gently. Maybe a little bit less heat. There we go. That's not too bad. It's pretty good. I'll put this stuff away while I'm waiting. Yes, that is the challenge with the single burner stove. Getting it low enough so that you can simmer, but not so low that the flame goes out, which I'm pretty sure I did just before. And the other thing is, of course, there's no um, wind guard around this, like on a stove. Stir through the cashews, put the pot into the outer container for at least five hours. There we go. Stir those through. I love cashews in cooking, so tasty. I'm not generally a fan of nuts on their own, but used in cooking, I quite like them. Stir that through. And now I can deal with the rice. So let's turn that off. Oof, poof. Ping, 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 ping. <laughs> that amuses me no end. Now I shall prepare the rice. If having with rice, bring two cups of rice to the boil for a few minutes in the small upper pot using the absorption method right here, ratios. Now I'm using, I'm just gonna cook one cup because I think that will be enough for Alexis and I for a couple of meals. This is a third of a cup measure. And then I need to measure my water carefully. So let's get this container. And I also need to rinse the rice. Eh, I could avoid rinsing it and save water. Just means it'll be a bit, a bit more gluggy. Which I'm okay with to save water. Uh, it's a great spot here, but it says the dam water is not safe to drink. So I don't want to have to go off and find more water. So I think I'm just going to go with gluggy rice. So I need three of these because I'm using one cup. Absorption method is one and a half times what you've got. So, if I've got one cup, then I need one and a half cups of water. So, I will use my quarter measure. So, that means I need four for one cup and then another two for half a cup. Yay, maths. <laughs> Me and maths. We're very awkward friends. I oh, need six of these. Let's not lose count. Um, 
Oops. Five. Six. When you cook with basmati, you need a little bit extra for the absorption of it. Two cups of rice to boil for a few minutes and leave both to cook at the same time. All right, so that means that it should be good. All right, let's bring that to the boil. Let's put a lid on that. There it is. I reckon I could probably turn that down a touch. It smells like it's excessive. I have showed you my pantry once before. Again. I'll put a link in the corner. So uh, everything goes in there. It's great. It's all the dry stuff, spices and stuff. They're going down that way. I'll eat that. And uh, yeah, it's one of those. Um, well, you can read AOB cargo box things, cargo gear. And they're meant to go in those pull-out drawers in the back of four-wheel drives. But uh, it works perfectly. I love it. It fits in all kinds of places in the car because it's so small. And uh, currently. Because the fridge goes in the front seat, I use it to push the fridge forward so that it's not sort of on an angle like this. Works perfectly. Should well and surely be boiling now. Oh yes, yes, that's boiling. Alright. Give that one more minute. I reckon. For a few minutes, yeah, that's bubbling away very nicely. Might turn it down a touch. Oh my hot things. Oh, let me just rinse this and then when that's rinsed I'll come back and Whoa! 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 Whoa. Don't do that. Don't, 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 don't. So I think that's enough. It's ready. All right, let me pick you up. Everything is in here. Um, give you a quick look. Here's the latch there there's the rice on top the meals underneath I'm not going to pick it up again because I want to keep all of that heat in and I've got it in its little bag thingo so that will help to keep some of that heat in as well so yeah I'm going to seal that up completely that bag will help to keep extra heat in because I can feel a little bit of heat on the lid on the inside so um, I guess that's the spot where some of the heat escapes most easily so uh, now I'll set a timer for five hours because it says leave it for at least five hours. And uh, I'll tidy up my table here and think about making us some lunch. So dinner's sorted, yeah. I will check in again when it's cooked and I'll show you our completed dinner. But in the meantime, uh, I appreciate you viewing and I hope you've been enjoying the content that I've been making. Um, this, uh, using this thermal cooking pot was actually requested. Um, someone who I know who is an actual friend of mine in real life who watches my channel, which is pretty cool. Thanks again for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that. Thank you to everyone who already has subscribed. My channel is growing quite well and I'm really happy with that. Um, and I'll show you dinner when it's ready. The moment of truth is here. <laughs> I've taken it out of the container. Gosh, it looks so shiny. It's just weird light everywhere. And um, uh, look at this weird shadows. Ugh. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's just shadows. Um, yeah, we're about to serve it. Alexis is here ready with the bowls and our um, and our thingos here. And we've got our trays. There we go. Actually, I might leave mine for a moment. And uh, we're about to serve it up. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see how it turned out. I haven't actually opened it yet, so we're going to see together. Alrighty. Da -da -da. Top container. This is the rice. Ooh, the rice looks good. 
it looks very nicely cooked. Let me see where I can put this. Um, it's cold outside, which is why we're doing this in the car. Uh, Alexis, can I put this on your tray, please? Ouch, I just twisted my hand weirdly. Just doing normal things, apparently. Uh, okay, move that across there. I'm going to lift up this pot of rice. It's gonna be a bit steamy on the bottom. Watch out, it's gonna be hot. Like, can we make this flat on your lap? Where's the dog? All right. And the feed. It still looks a bit weird, just cause you know, there's no garnish on it or anything. But it smells all right. Yummy, yum. I'll put some in a bowl and see what it looks like, hey? All right, here we go. Take Alexis as being my camera person. I'm gonna take this out. It's quite warm, but on this thing should be okay. And I'm gonna try and serve some. I don't have a large serving spoon, which is unfortunate. Uh, so I might have to try and pour some from the edge to get a decent serve. Do you wanna bring it over here and point it at the bowl? Can you see where I'm pouring? Oh, I forgot to put the rice in first, duh. All right, let's put Alexis's rice in first. Uh, and then we can transfer that to the other bowl. Alrighty, let's get some rice. Let's, oh, is it a bit dry? Look how fluffy it looks. I'm gonna try some in a minute. Some. Not bad. But it's pretty decent rice. Alright. How hungry are you, sweetie? Mm, pretty hungry. Pretty hungry. You wanna show you can see me serving rice here? How's that? Bigger bowls than we used to at home. Yeah. So let's tip this on top now. I don't know what you can see there from that angle, but I hope you can see the food coming in. Yeah, it looks kind of dodged. Like if I had pretty spices, not spices, or yeah, I could I could sprinkle spices on there and it would look much prettier. Um, or I could put some sort of uh, garnish or something and it would look delicious. But from what I tasted on the spoon just then. It tasted all right. Um, yeah, I think that's it. You want to pass it to me? Thank you. Oh, am I in shot? Or you can just... Oh, okay. I'll just look at the camera. Do you want to keep holding it while I finish? All right. So, uh, yes, that is our meal. Ready to go. I think it's a success. Uh, actually, how about I have a little nibble here? I won't do that whole eating on camera thing again because that was gross. Mmm. Why are you pointing that over there? <laughs> Lexus is playing interesting camera person. Okay. Um, yeah, not bad. I think I feel like adding a bit of salt to it, but aside from that, it's good. Are you still pointing that at me so people can see me? Good. Yeah, happy with that. Uh, yeah, it's a success. Everything is cooked perfectly and the rice is great definite success <laughs> so thank you for watching um as my camera bounces around <laughs> good job alexis um if you haven't already like and subscribe i'd really appreciate it doggo don't no 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 get your nose away get your nose away <laughs> and um yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye